In this episode, we streamline production lines, we look at unemployment, and we start planning to maybe expand our nation's population to a cool quarter of a million. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, we quickly redid some of these conveyor connections and let's pause the game and just want to have a quick look at how well that is now doing. There's a few things that we want to do in this episode. Um, as we can see, this is loading coal pretty quickly, probably quicker than we're actually producing it, to be honest. No, we have coal available that is loading up there, so that's okay. Um, this is not loading iron. Um, and we do have iron available, but I think the reason is it, it's obviously only going to load one thing at a time. So once this is done, uh, which is now, it will then switch over and load the others, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, and, and I don't mind that. I don't mind the slow. This is going to be fine. This is ultimately going to be fine. It's going to load it pretty quickly. All we need to do is get more stuff in here pretty quickly, and we need to maintain... Um, a good number of workers through here, which we seem to be doing through our current bus uh, bus system. Uh, we don't need a lot of workers out here, the, out here, and that is why this is working. We don't need a high capacity rail link for um, for workers to come in here. We just need more buses uh, more frequently to actually get them there. So let's have a quick look at this line. Um, we've got six buses, three on the route, three away. Um, and the line spacing is pretty good and it's got about a thousand meters in between vehicles So we should get a pretty regular um, Drop off of passengers here. Oh, yeah, exactly workers here So we haven't dropped under 10 workers per, per facility yet and we've got a whole new uh, line of them coming to arrive So we should be continuously producing now um, at a rate that's that's pretty good. So this guy's coming back um, loading up the next the next batch of it So yes, we are producing coal at a reasonable rate. This guy should be dropping off 600 tons of iron ore. So this will probably be standing in here though. Let me just uh, double check what it's actually saying. Is it is it going to wait until unloaded? No, it's not. So this is probably just going to go back straight away because we don't have, we've got a 100 ton capacity available at the moment. Um, and we're actually loading from somewhere else as well, is it? Oh, no, 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 that's iron. So this one is, oh, no, no, we, we'll be able to unload that one, I think, pretty well. Let's just see. Yeah, that one is unloading pretty well. This one um, loaded until it was full. Yes, pretty much so. Um, so actually, it is now functioning very, very, very well. Well, it's, it's, it's still not a super high capacity, and I'll take some lessons learned from this. Uh, this facility and in, in my next playthrough, I'll probably do this a fair bit better and um, then I've done it over here with more capacity for processing so that it's much higher capacity. But I don't think it's bad. It is doing a pretty decent job at um, at moving a fair bit of uh, goods around here. And we are keeping, yeah, we'll practically empty that train. And then this guy is bringing in some coal ore, and I think this guy is bringing in some, oh, more iron ore. So yes, uh, we, we're probably moving more iron ore than we need to. But uh, moving more coal ore is what we're after. So we've got some shipping arrangements that should be, we should in this episode get that shipping um, done. Uh, this Or get a couple of ships done so we can actually move this around. Uh, this facility, I'm quite happy about this facility. Now, there's been some comments around my high unemployment rate. in, uh, And, and, and it, is, it is an issue. It's obviously something that we do, would like to deal with. So due to low education is not really a problem. I'm not going to worry about 117 citizens when we in fact have almost 200,000. Uh, due to small child not getting kindergarten, that's a bit higher, but it's still not a bad percentage. I don't mind that at all. Due to sickness is super low. So really, it's just because we don't have places for them to work. And I think that is the big ticket item. Now, in my mind, it's not a big deal because these guys don't need work to have uh, have have some have have a life right it's not a, a western career culture or anything like that over here everybody go has, has everything they need everybody has got um what we're providing to them so if we look over here um everybody's got the same clothing quality everybody has access to a radio everybody has access to television government loyalty is super high i'm so happy to see that actually going up so the new mechanics in the in the recent update uh, which is now on the on the uh, on the general branch, 
um, w- it has made massive differences to how government loyalty works um, in terms of getting people to be more loyal, but also the effect that low loyalty actually has. So if we go to maybe one of these buildings, we can see what the loyalty at this building is. This is an 80% loyalty in this building. So it's really good. We're allowing all kinds of loyalty to, to be living here, but the loyalty here is pretty high. So now I understand that that government loyalty affects um, productivity and it also um, affects happiness and it affects uh, birth rate. So how, how, how many kids people have and things like that. So now government loyalty actually does something. I thought it says something about, I thought it was saying something about productivity. Maybe if we click on one of these guys, we can have a see. So this guy has 81% government loyalty. Um, he's obviously not incarcerated. There's some kind of mechanic here that I don't quite know how that's going to work, but it's, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to when that is implemented. Now, what is it saying? Ah, average productivity, 170%. So now you can go, you can actually find out where they live, but you can actually go person by person and see how productive they are based on their loyalty. Do you also see um, their past days, demand, unsatisfied drinking alcohol and praying, which is uh, demands that are not too keen on providing them. They've got a lot of electronics, all this kind of stuff. Um, so, so they're not actually showing us their fertility or their, um, you know, what they're planning on in terms of having kids, but apparently government loyalty does affect that. But anyway, it's pretty good to see. Now we can actually see my people are being way, way more productive. Um, and that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. One of the other things that's, uh, that's a recent addition to the updates, and I'm quickly going to flick that on for our vehicle production over here. So where we are producing cars for our nation, I'm going to say... I would like, select the blueprint to manufacture. No, that's not the one. Build with random color. That's the one. Build with random color. So now we'll see different colors of vehicles. I'm still going to use the same car variety. That's absolutely fine. I'm not going to mess around with that. So I'm going to use that same car variety. But now we'll start seeing some additional colors going in. Okay. Now, our so, so all in all, I'm going to try and... Um, and, and deal with our high unemployment rate. But it's not the end of the world. These people can effectively go on holiday a little bit more often. So now what that's saying, um, and that's what I'm, I'm sticking to it, uh, <laughs> is that 20% of our population at any given time can go on holiday in all of these fancy tourist facilities that we've got. Not that they do that, but they can. So I think that's actually a pretty good thing. In a nation like ours, we do need a little bit of um, extra capacity in terms of the workforce to make sure that we can deal with uh, with certain things. But, of course, um, that would be linked to certain areas. So we will have certain buildings where there is a pretty, well, that's a pretty low unemployment rate. That's less than, that's, that's less than, that's less than 5% or around 5% of this building, which I think is pretty good. This is around 5% again. Um, so, yes, this is pretty good. This area has about a 5% unemployment rate. Um, piece. So let's have a quick look over here. Can we see unemployment over here? Um, we've got a few escapes over here. That might might be just from the start or pe people not getting a place to go. Births over here is pretty good. Um, we can't actually see unemployment, can we? This is the resources. This is what it's producing. We can go into some of these kind of things. Actual population, demographic. We can't see unemployment in this area. Average age. We, average productivity. We can see average productivity. Oh, there it is. Unemployment. Only 41 workers out of 1,500. So that's not bad. This area is pretty good. Now we can also flick on over here. I would imagine this area over here has a pretty high unemployment. Do we have a city hall so we can actually check it? I'm kind of wondering if we do. Otherwise, we should build one. Let's uh, let's quickly have a look. If we, I'll uh, delete all of these messages again. So, um, in here, I'm just having a bit of a look at some of this stuff. No, 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 it's over here now. Aha! There we go. This is what I'm after. So, I'm looking for buildings called. Um, I know there's one over here. So we want um, what is it called? Um, city Hall, right? City Hall, there we go. Let's select some City Halls. Over here. So this one is a 25,000 population and it's got 1,000. Um, that's that's good. That is 5%. So this area is working. These guys are working. Do I have a City Hall in this area is my question. 
Not that I can see. Okay, so, first things first, let's actually build a city hall in Levushka over here. Probably whereabouts. We're struggling with, with spots to build stuff because we've got a lot of infrastructure running around in this area. What's going on over here? These guys have what they need. Excellent. Um, and it's... Oh, yes, they, it is filled beyond capacity um, because it doesn't have enough workers here. But anyway, we want a, a city hall. So where do we actually find that? State infrastructure should include a city hall, I would imagine. City hall or accounting office. Where can we squeeze it in? We can't is the uh, is the easy answer there. Uh, we should be able to set something in here. All right, I've got a. I think that'll work. Though we got a fence down here. If I need to, uh, if I need to remove the fence, we'll do that. I think that spot is uh, is not a bad one. Why is this guy can't build due to infrastructure? Oh, it's that little piece over there. So we should be able to build it nice and close to this anyway. Let's make sure we get some heating and some power over there. If I... Yeah, there we go. Oh, I love it. It's it's practically... It's very good now. Now, let's uh, let's make sure to connect it with a little road. A little road. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it off like that. We're going to... Oh, man. That's good. We're going to snake it in that way and we're probably going to do... Just about that. That's going to be just fine. Now people will actually be able to walk in that way. We should be able to connect from this path over here also because that's nice and high. So that's good. Now let's um, let's uh, commission that piece of construction. And let's go and get ourselves a little pathway to finish that off from this side. Uh, now we should be able to... What I would like... Will I... Um, Get that one go back a little bit and then what we'll do is yeah that's the one just go about there and we'll tie this one in so these guys will find a bit of a path to walk to so what i'll do is I'll also connect that that's the problem with uh, building roads though by the way just so you know um this isn't actually connected to a proper other side so let's just do that make sure that it is properly connected so that everybody over here can get access to it not that they probably would uh what we'll also want to do is see if we can't just make sure connect these guys up here a little bit better and do we do do we run a little path in here Ooh, i like it doesn't want to do that oh look at that that's beautiful that's beautiful i'm loving it i'm gonna tie that one in there now we should be pretty good so i'll go ahead and commission that we'll get these guys to build it because there's not much going on and we don't really need that one in place super quickly okay so that's kind of what we where we're at with with uh, unemployment and we're going to see what we can do we're obviously wanting to make sure that our people are productive let's quickly have a look at what's going on over here food availability is okay um, alcohol is good, clothes is good, electronics is good, I'm happy with that. Plastics is low. What's going on with plastics? We'll have to have a look at what's going on with our plastic situation. Mechanical components are good, electronic components are good, fabric, it doesn't matter that fabric here isn't good, but, um, but of course um, that we could do better, we could get fabric over here a little bit better. Chemicals are good. So if more fabrics is certainly a thing, and I do want to find out what the hell is going on with our plastics. Um, we've got a pretty big plastic production facility over here. So let's have a quick look, I think. This is producing plastics. It is working. Is it out of chemicals? Doesn't seem to be out of chemicals. Doesn't seem to be out of anything, to be honest. Let's see what's going on in here. Uh, plastics are coming up. Um, this has no workers, but we've closed it down. So what I'll do is I will um, add more workers to it doesn't take a lot so let's grab some workers in here and let's produce things at a little bit of a quicker pace do we get oil Ooh, we don't have oil but oil should be unloaded over here right oh well doesn't come 
oh yeah well well does go through here so we we need to make sure that we get oil in but i think oil is going to be fine i think there is a train that drops off oil um pretty um regularly what is this guy loading up on it's loading up on uh, it's load it's offloading electronic components uh, probably for the electronics industry and it should be loading um plastic so let's just have a quick look at that once that's done it's gonna offload some mechanical components it's a pretty slow loading unloading process here is that thing powered it should be and yeah there we go loading plastics which is going back to uh to the central hub i believe and it's going to go and load some clothes as well at the other warehouse just over here too what is it now loading what is it doing it's loading something but i can't actually see what it is oh is it this oh yeah yeah it's electronics so it's loading up on electronics okay that's good um, so I've opened up another slot over here. And where is the oil that we're talking about? I mean, oh, unless it was filled up with oil and this is out of oil now. So where's my oil train? Let's just have a look. There should be an oil train heading. There's only one crude rail collection. Is that correct? Let's just double check this one. That's the line. It should be... Well, let's open up this guy as well. It's on its way to Durbansk. So it's on its way here, right? Oh, no, no, no. Vraska. That is quite interesting. So it doesn't have any oil on it. So what we're saying is it should be loading oil, going to load oil, and then it will come to unload oil over here. And that should be good enough, I would imagine. But maybe it's time for us to add another crude rail collection. That's a, the name is, is, is awkward. The name is awkward, but we're running out of oil over here. So what I'll do is I'll add another train to this, to this mix. And that should, and I, I like the way we can now keep an eye on all of our production through the central hub. The central hub quickly tells us, oh, something is, uh, is not quite right. And we, uh, we need to provide a little bit more. What are these guys uh, moving? Is it a high capacity thing that it's moving? Plastics, it's moving plastics around. What is the rate of plastic use over here? Three tons of plastics per day. That should be okay for these guys. That should be okay. It's only moving plastics, so it should be fine. Okay, let's get another oil train going. I think we've got trains available, ready and waiting. There's another locomotive, and I believe even another locomotive is, is, is underway. Now, somewhere over here, we need to have these guys. Perfecto. It's the third one. No, it's the fourth one. We have... Ooh, we don't actually have guys available. So let's grab this guy. And we'll move it over here to the fourth one. Get that in place and we'll quickly set up that extra train. Um, and then I need to look at that. 190,000 population. We're so close to 200,000. We probably can get it in this episode if I spend a little bit of effort on building, uh, on laying out another residential area, which I think I'm going to do. This game is just going from strength to strength. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Okay, let's get this train set up. So we're still playing on a lower speed and I don't mind playing on the lower speed though. Just uh, because we're going to get into winter too quickly if we don't. So here we should have this guy available. Now, how long... Now, the issue is I don't want us to make these guys too long. So four gives us 480 yet again. And I think that's probably about okay. Then we can do another train at some point. So I think that's going to be fine. We'll grab this one and we'll... Mm, we'll move it around and we'll grab this guy and we'll assign it to set line to crude... Rail collection. It's just the one there. And let's do that. So it goes to Vraska oil fuel loading and it unloads. That's quite interesting that it starts there, isn't it? It goes to Durbansk port oil fuel loading and unloads uh, loads over there. It also goes to the IC1 oil fuel loading and then it goes to Sequoia Large Oil Storage um, and I think that's the port of 
the Port of Chaos um, area. Ooh, it's practically empty, which is okay. Let's just see where that is quickly. Yeah, that's exactly where I thought it's going to be, and that's that's the appropriate thing. So what I'll do is I'll make a start on this guy. That should help us out a little bit. I think that should be fine. I think all of these facilities are producing enough oil to make a run for that. So let's give a start. And what I want to do is just make sure it goes to one of these first so that it actually loads. Loads. So let's, uh, let's keep an eye on that train. I do love my trains and uh, we'll speed it up a little bit to see and quickly take a bit of a ride on, on the line here and see how it goes in terms of picking up what it needs to pick up. So we're running a little quicker. Um, let's just see. I want to keep an eye on how much it is in fact picking up. This guy should be, I can't remember where exactly that is, but at IC1 it should be somewhere over here. This area. It's really busy. Uh, coming through here is obviously not ideal, but maybe it won't actually do that. This should allow a bypass. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Bypassing. It's a little jagged at the moment. I think um, we are dropping some frames. Okay, here it is. Loading up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just stop. Why? What? Hang on. You're not connected? That's not good. What's going on over here? This building has no connection to factories or something. Why would that be? Well, it's good that we uh, that we have a look at that. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't think... Well, we can go underground and switch overground. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, can this go underground? It can, that can't. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start it underground to get it to the other side. We'll do something like that. Then we'll go overground. Right, that does work, right? And we'll do that. Um, for this, I'm going to quickly go and pay for that. Okay, and we'll do that. Oops, what is that? In, in the I pressed escape and it changed my view. That's that's pretty good. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to go back to this. Um, so before we do that, let's uh, move it away. That's okay. I think that'll work. Now let's just double check this. Oh, beautiful. That might have been a problem. That obviously caused a bit of a delay. Yeah, there we go. It'll load up all good. I think I might have changed the size of the storage over here. And that has ended up resulting in in something that didn't quite um, meet the target. But anyway, now it's fully loaded, so it doesn't actually have to go to the next one. It can go straight to... So this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of manage it manually. Engage track further along the line, which is okay, I don't mind that. Let's, uh, ooh, uh, let's actually take a bit of a ride with this guy again. Can I please click to follow? Excellent, and we'll zoom it out a little bit. This is a little over the top. So now we're seeing um, how that goes. So there's a lot of little micromanagement pieces, but I do, I don't mind it every now and again. Fixing these problems is all part of what makes this game a lot of fun. Did like that piece of infrastructure. Now the question is, in order for us to really grow our population, do we do another town somewhere? I, I kind of, sometimes I'm tempted to do it, other times not so much. This should provide us oil here. Now, our storage facility over here is not the biggest, but I don't think we use oil at such a rapid rate. But anyway, now we should be okay. We've opened the other plastics facility, so the extra terrain is probably a good idea. Coming through here, it's definitely has, has oil over there, but we'll see about unloading it. So let's uh, pause the game for a second. Yeah, it's, it's really um, dropping frames at the moment. It is dropping frames at the moment. Do we have this guy loaded up with oil? Uh, we need another We need another um, a batch, another batch to be, be dropped off. And to be honest, I don't think we can wait until unloaded. So we'll just unload as much as we can and the rest will move on um, 
do the facility over there. But this should be good because what we will do is we'll actually load these up as we go. So that's really good. And we should end up loading, fully loading this thing. And that should be creating plastics at quite a rapid pace now. Right? It should be at, um, at a pretty high, high rate. Let's quickly have a look. While we're here, what I'm keen on understanding is what is going on with our pathing. Let's quickly have a look at the rail signals. Because at some point, so, so this guy, yeah, this is the issue. All right, so what we need to do is I need to flip these over. Um, I need to go with, with these guys. Um, and at the same time, I need to um, kind of get rid of those. And this guy really needs to be able to go to any one of those, right? Don't. Don't go in there. Why would you? Why would you? Um, mm, we need we need these guys to see whether that's full. Ah, but this one actually needs a chain so that it can go into those, but not necessarily into this one. So this is going to get stuck. I think it was actually an appropriate style. Of um, of pathing, but why? Why would you? Where are you heading? Vraska Cargo Train Station. This is the Vraska Cargo Train Station. You should have a spot. You should be able to go and. Why? Why is this? Um, why? Why are you? This is a bit of an awkward situation, isn't it? Why? Why wouldn't you? path that way already that's quite interesting let's go back here so what are we saying let's have a look at um, a little bit of this so that guy's obviously blocking everything which is fine i understand that so now it's here saying that it's got a free path to go there through here um it, through here there's no free path and it's obviously not being able not able to to feed into this one because it can't actually clear this this area. So that's certainly a thing. But why is it not pathing through there? It wants to stop here and that's an open pathway to go there. Maybe this one was just a little... The reason I'm using chains here is because if something is stopped here and un busy unloading, we don't want everything to get stuck in here. But on the other hand, that is really quite an interesting one. So let's let's redo this as a chain and see if that does. It doesn't want to go there, right? Is this connected? It should be connected. We had a train go through there just a minute ago. So that's an interesting one. This guy should be leaving pretty soon. Yeah, it, sh it shouldn't take too much longer. We've got a number of trains stuck now, and I'm kind of tempted to maybe do a bit of a bypass around here. It's not going to be easy, though. This is pretty tight, filled up already. We are practically emptying this train as we go. We're actually emptying this train instead of... Um, there we go. Now it's filled up. What I would like to see is that once this guy is actually parked in here, I would like to see this guy go to the next, the next best thing. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Now, that is okay. Let's uh, let's just keep an eye on on these. This should all work. It should be able to go to any one of these guys. Yeah, there it goes. Is that just bypassing or it's going to stop? It's just bypassing. So it's a bypass it seems to be doing that. Is this guy going to stop? No, just another bypass. I would like to see someone stop on the outside over there. Is that guy going to stop? No. Just another bypass. And we're loading up the line over here. It's a bit of a rapid discharge. So that guy will 
go through there, hopefully fairly quickly. Okay, it's looking good, it's looking okay. So now we should be producing um, plastics at, a, at, a, at, a, at a, a bit of a higher rate, right? Do we have a lot of plastics available over here? It is starting to, it's starting to fill up. It's starting to fill up. Now, what we should have a quick look at over here is do we have, what is this that I'm building? Uh, an orphanage. Why is that not actually being constructed? Let's quickly assign. Is that not connected? Oh, this is still being constructed. Well, let's get the helicopters to uh, do their bit over here too. Um, I'm kind of wondering, is this missing electronic components? So we're not able to finish off um, that one there. So let's just get this assigned through the helicopters. IC4, heli construction should be able to do its thing. Let's just assign the one. It should get this built fairly quickly. We'll need to assign some other bits and pieces. Now let's go back to our overland, quickly check our city hall arrangements. So city halls, do we have one around here somewhere? Um, and I would like to see it from a pretty far distance. There's one over there. What's our 30,000 people living in this area? And unemployment is... Ooh, that's over 10%. That is over 10%. So it's pretty high unemployment over here. So I do think another train that can bring workers over here could be useful. Could be useful. Let's quickly... I'm just pausing the game again while we quickly check out a few things. This isn't building... Well, it is building at a pretty decent rate. We could probably add more workers to this mix. Not that we need to build ships at a rapid pace, though. So we'll, we'll leave that there for the time being. Um, how many workers do we have over here? Tons of workers standing around, waiting, waiting around. We'll make sure everybody else can still use this facility. But yeah, what we'll do is I want to build another... Let's go here to the modded city walls. That's an office building that uses a fair number of... Why does it get visitors though? A small town hall. Let's do something like this. Is that a nice building? Yeah, that's a nice little building. It, it will be like a bit of a... We should be able to squeeze it in. Let's have a quick look. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. Let's, um, let's just turn it a little bit. So over here... Oh, look at how... Look at how nice that will look. There we go. I'm going to place a city hall over here. So let's get that going. I'm going to build that section just because we seem to be struggling with that a little bit. There we go. We'll pay for that section. Now we'll, we'll build a city hall in the middle of this area. And that should give us a little bit more information around this. What I'm thinking is we need an extra train over here. So let's quickly see which are the trains that's actually running. We've got two uh, two trains actually running the Durbansk Vraska line. So that's not bad, actually. And these trains have what kind of capacity? 375? 375. So that means it's... Um, it's... It's uh, three wagons, right? 125, 125, 125? What is that? It's three wagons. So... I thought that would be okay. Where does these, where does the workers for this come from? They come from there. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's let's go back here and just check. So it goes to Durbansk train platform, then Durbansk port train platform. So it runs all of these basically. How many workers over here? Tons of workers over here. So it'll run between all of them and actually allow um, workers to get off at the port. So I think another train. Another one, but just the one, I think, will uh, will do quite nicely. So let's uh, see whether we've got something available to work that line. That should help our unemployment a little bit as well. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now, we have some guys over here. What we don't have... Oh, this guy just finished. No blueprint selected. We want to make sure we finish... We, we start making way more um, of these guys. I don't think this has a random color uh, and I don't want to build random colors for trains I think 
I think we want to make sure our trains look fairly similar because they like state stuff. There we go. I think two or three of them. Maybe let's do four of them. That should be good. Let's just keep these guys, these guys are running all the time. Okay, good. Now, this guy will move it, this locomotive will move it into our first spot over here, where we will assign it three of these carriages to um, to, to take on the Derbansk Vraska line, <coughs> passenger line. That section is a, is a constrained section, so we can't do um, much longer trains than this because it won't really work. We can't actually change the color of that guy, but anyway, let's assign it to Derbansk Vraska line. And go nuts, make a start for it straight away. So that should um, allow us more workers over there. Okay, good. I think that is going to start sorting out things a little bit more for us. Let's quickly pop into the central and just have a quick another look at what's going on. Have our plastics popped up a little bit? Not quite yet, but it'll take a little bit of time to sort that out. The others are looking pretty good. Fabrics, of course, we can do with a little bit more if um, at some point. Over here, what do we have? What is exporting at the moment? Electronics. We're actually exporting plastics, which means that not too long ago, that thing would have been full. Um, we're exporting a little bit of everything, which to me is pretty good. It means that we're, we're topping up all of them. The only thing we're not topping up <clears throat> is, is fabric. This is really encouraging. It means we're actually, um, we're actually supplying everything we need at pretty good rates, so much so that we've got a surplus and we're able to export. That, that encourages me so much, so much. Let's quickly see um, if we finish the Frida over here and can move on to the next one. How long will this Frida take? Do I add a few more workers to the mix? Let's get it up to at least 220, see if we can't make this work a little quicker. Now that we've assigned an extra train, maybe that's that's what we're after. We will. This Frida will be built in like a few days. I'm going to wait for it so I can assign it over here. We could also sell it. Not that we need the money. 3 billion rubles, one almost 2 billion dollars available. Global market report saying oil is dropping in price. Which is okay, we don't actually import oil. Oh, actually do we? Oh, look at that, that's brilliant. I do love that level of detail, to be honest. That level of detail is awesome. Um, the Frida, I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna send it away. I don't think we can. Hang on, let's have a quick look at our, our map. Do we have these connections? That connection should be fine. That connection should be to the west. So we should be able to sell it for dollars. Um, its value in dollars, however, is pretty, pretty low. It's only going to pop us up to about the, the $1.8 billion mark. Um, so its value in dollars is not great, but we can sell it for dollars. It's okay. We don't need more rubles. We don't need more dollars either. But we just want to make sure these guys are constantly busy doing something. So let's um, set it beyond there and we'll... And that, I believe, is exporting it, right? We just do that, make a start, we'll export the Frida, get it out of here. Look at that. So what I was wondering is maybe we do another town over here. That spot wouldn't be too bad. What if we build a town over there? We can have coal, ooh, we can have a pretty good coal, coal production over there. We can get a little bit of oil being produced over here if we do r run rails through there. Um, we have a source of uranium there. So if we do a pretty big mining complex over here, that would be able to run uranium and things in there. Look at, uh, look at uh, Ultima Grad over here. Pretty good. So the question would only be, how do we connect the road through there? There's no road in this area. These are all rail um, infrastructure pieces. So we could, we could link road somewhere over here, or we could, of course, link ro road from over there. The big, uh, alternatively, we could actually run the road up there and actually have access in this spot. That might not be the worst idea. Getting another highway connection, doing a bit of a three, um, a three approach interchange over here, like a bit of a trumpet or something similar to what we've got there, and running that in that area wouldn't be the wouldn't be too bad. So that means you, yeah. That should be okay. It shouldn't be the, the longest of distances. So I think something through there could be done in the future, but that's what's going to happen in this episode. Now, let's make our way over here to uh, Ultima Grad. We'll close off the minimap. Um, we'll 
pause it for a second and just see what's going on. So um, this is slowly getting done. How far is that from being actually being completed? A fair bit of time is still still required to finish this one off. Though there's no rush for it, so we won't um, <clears throat> we won't be rushing that anymore. We should be creating a lot of fabric over here, right? We don't have sufficient workers actually coming here. So in terms of workers, they are being dropped off over here. There's a single train doing the workers here. So we need to add an extra train to this mix. No, 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 there's two trains. It's two trains. It's not a single train. There's, there's one train on its way here and one train on its way back, I believe. Where is my train? Is it a single train? Now I'm... Uh, there's the train. Yeah, it is a single train. Uh, it is a single train. I misread that. So, um, it's dropping off workers. Uh, we'll see how quickly we fill these guys up. And do we actually fill them up or not? Uh, pretty close, but not all the way. So, we need more workers over here. Now, in order for us to get workers over here, and I think, I'm thinking... <clears throat> I'm thinking that the... That this by itself... It's missing coal, which is okay. <clears throat> coal should be coming um, at fair rates. But I'm thinking a bus station over here will actually help out um, with some, if we build more workers, worker accommodation over here. So that's, that's part of what I'm going to do now. Is this powered? I believe this is powered. This was at some point problematic in terms of powered. Um, now, bus station. Yeah, there's a pretty big bus station over there with no one actually arriving at it. Let's uh, let's let's build out some more stuff over here. Now, that I just want to double check with the the kind of the field thing. So, um, if we look at that, we really shouldn't be we shouldn't be building. We should build facilities over here and housing. Hang on, let's just let's just double check this. So, really, we shouldn't <clears throat> we shouldn't be doing much more than maybe one one layer of housing facilities over there. Okay, so let's uh, let's plan out this section. I think our road network here is pretty good, but we need to plan out a few more facilities over here. So residential areas, I want to do some big buildings. How sizable can we get these? We can get them pretty big, up to 500 workers if we wanted to. These are 330. The problem with the 500 worker stuff is you need a lot of residential facilities. And maybe we shouldn't shy away from it. Some buildings that we haven't built in a long time are these guys. So maybe let's get a couple of these guys built up um, over here. So we've got a modded, let's go modded um, residential facilities. And is it is it these guys? No, no, those are 12 stories. Somewhere here. No, here they are. Red, blue and yellow. I'm going to go with the, yeah, let's go with the red ones. Let's assign that one in there. So now, if I come up here, we should actually find find that one. It's this one here. So I'm going to select that. Yeah, that's the one. Now, I am thinking, oh man, we can get it so close to this now. I'm thinking, that is super, super tight. If we do this, we can get it connected up there. Look at that. Can we look at it straight from the top? Wow. Loving the fact that we, uh, we're doing a better job at this. So if I do that one over here, that should give us access. And what I'll also do is I'll do one. Over there, and I'm also kind of tempted to do one over here, and we'll tie that one up. That's a pretty nice tight alignment. This will be a pretty big development. We can get these nice and close back to back, though. Oh, look at how close you can actually get to some of these buildings now. I'm thinking I'm going to offset it a little bit by getting a little closer to the infrastructure. That's just going to be a little bit more interesting.
And this is 2,000. This is 2,000 residents that's going to live here. Now, I don't think we're going to squeeze in another one. Oh, maybe we can. I think we can actually squeeze in another one over there. Not that I think that's the greatest of ideas. Oh, uh, actually. There we go. Tie off one more right over there. Look at that. That is an awesome little block. That's really, really, really good. Now, let's, um, let's quickly tie in all of the various roads that we're going to need. So we want to make sure that we have roads with sidewalks. Um, this one I want to run... About as close as we can over there okay and then i want to do that so that's good so now we can do a kindergarten or something in there i'm gonna pay for that i'm gonna pay for all the roads because the roads it freaks me out we'll see about tying that one in over there pay for that one and um, this one in over here is going to be fine nice and central um, ooh, one thing I didn't quite realize is that this guy needs a, needs a bit of a home, but it actually will work. What we'll just need to do is make sure that we've got now some paths going, going through it as well. Okay, so now with that in mind, now the next step is some paths. Um, I would like to assign the path in there. Then what we'll do is we'll tie this up like so we'll tie that in there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run this guy straight up there we're gonna turn it around in here and we're probably just gonna path it in into that location and we'll tie all of these guys together over here that's going to be really nice. So now all of them are tied in and can get to the bus station pretty quickly. The one thing I didn't check is to see whether we've got any heating yet. Yeah, we should. Or power. We didn't. We're not sure what we have uh, done and haven't done. So that should be good. Um, we need probably a shop right at the back over here. So that the shop can be in, in the pollution line. This is going to be all residential and we'll just make sure that we've got... Um, all of our facilities in the pollution line. Maybe we'll do something like a small little kindergarten over here. Let's see, sis, uh, facilities for education. We would like a kindergarten. How's this going to go? That's not going to work. We need something even smaller. Will this actually fit? That is tight, really tight. Probably going to end up needing even more. Oh, loving it. There we go. Probably do a bit of a connection over there as well. Nice, so now there's a fair bit of construction that'll start over here, so I can actually start playing it so that things will get constructed. I will build this one as well. No, please pay for that. Okay, now, all of that's paid for. We can probably squeeze a monument or two in here. What other facilities can we add in here? Um, tourism? The indoor pool won't fit. That's a little bit too much. What we can, however, do is um, facilities for residents. Is this kind of these kind of things? So we could potentially do a little something like this, maybe a little something like that. Wow, it doesn't even fit. Um, so I don't think we'll we'll get too too much stuff on here. Where is our closest um, facility? Yeah, we'll have to build something pretty big on that side also. So let's just go with monuments and stuff in here. Monuments. Where are, where did we find our monuments? Was it? Ah, here it is. Monuments. Oh, they say what kind of government loyalty they generate. I'm loving it. 5.2% in a 4 15 meter um, radius or distance. So that's the big one, right? That one is what we're after. What is 
The next best thing is this one. But I think even the, these kind of, ooh, actually, that is not bad, but it's over a shorter distance. So Lenin's Concrete Monument might be the thing for us over here. Alternatively, we can do this guy. That should help us out a little bit. Though I would like us to run a little something through here. So maybe, actually, the monument should go in there. Excellent. Let's go nuts. Let's go nuts with that one. And we'll quickly finish off a couple of little paths um, also over here. So I would like us to probably run this path over there. Tie this guy. So really, we can't... Can we not tie... It doesn't want to... Okay, well, we'll tie it in over there then. Let's uh, pay for that. I'm going to pay for this one. We'll get the, the guys to, to construct the rest of it, though. So that should be good. Now we'll we'll get all of this to slowly get being be built up. Now, facilities that we also need over here. Oh, I never checked to see the power. Power. So let's quickly add a building in here and see if we're going to get it powered. Oh! We will actually get it powered and heated in this area. So that's not bad. However, we may find that whatever we've built... Where is our... Um, is this the facility? Because this is uh, it's over capacity, actually. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one. Here it is. That's not close to over capacity yet, but we're probably going to need another substation fairly soon. Um, this heating facility um, still has some capacity, but we may need more. We may need to build another heating plant up here as well. So that's pretty good. Now, some other facilities that we all need over here is like a shop. I like this one. It kind of feels like it does the part. Um, if we flip it around. Oh, beautiful. This is, this is going to be tight. If we flip it around like this. That is awesome. I like that. So we'll get that store in place. And what I'm going to do is build this guy. And now we need a kind of a storage facility for these guys. So let's grab somewhere over here. Do we have a, an actual storage for it? The storage for that is not actually being, being done. So what kind of storages do we have available for food and things? I can never find the storages, though I would like to be able to find it over here, right? Would, would it be nice if we could have find, found it there? So, what are we after? Is it just miscellaneous and we'll find it in miscellaneous? Unfortunately not. Nothing over here shouts out storage to me. Over here we might find... Uh, ooh, what is this? This is the one? This is the one. So, I need you to remember that it's in here... But under the meat, it is it is actually located over there. And this this fifties warehouse kind of setup is is the one for us. Now, what I would do is I will run it this way around instead. Alternatively, we could actually sort it in here because it doesn't need to be this close. Because this can be further away. I, I like that idea. Let's um, place that in there. And then we can have so, some other facilities in here. Because this, is, this, this could even be residential right over here if we needed it. Now, what I'll also do as per usual, I'll pay for that section. So we don't spend too much time and effort on getting that to work. The rest should uh, kind of fall into place. So that's... That's a starting point. We've got a kindergarten over here. We need some schools and some sporting facilities. So let's head into that. Um, we'll go to the modded sports playgrounds. So we can build one of these big ones, right? Some real big, big, nice, big sports halls over here. That's the big one. So we'll get that one connected. This is just school gyms and the likes. We'll get another big sports hall over here. And then we just need some covered, covered buildings. So this school gym, 60s. What is a pretty decent... That, this one is a sports hall. We'll add that one. So those will be the sports halls that we add in, in there. Now let's quickly have a look if we move on over here to residential facilities. 
over here we'll see our sports hall so that gets us 250 uh, 45 spots i think i would prefer doing that one oh and look how nicely it would actually fit in there i am a fan of getting that one in place over here i think we've got a big one down here also But that's okay. We can't do much, much else with this area than use it for facilities. So let's get that one in place. Going to be a fair bit of um, construction and the likes over here. Now, what I would like to do is find out where are we going to probably do a little something like this. Nice. We'll get that connection over there. So this one will tie in. We'll do a little bit of that, just so it's a bit of a snaking route that goes over there. We will ultimately want to run some pathways down here. Actually, let's just run it straight over there. That's that's going to be fine. And then this guy can tie in over there. So that'll be good. Uh, what we'll also do is we will make sure to provide it access directly off the road over here we'll do that and probably access directly off the road over there but at the same time we would like to run that guy up there and up there and we'll pay for that also there we go Good. Now, that's the sports playground component. Now, let's see. We need some education. So, let's have a look at the schools that we have at our availability here. Um, technical University? No. Let's go with schools. This is a 60 school. What other schools do we have? Let's go modded schools. Um, 40 let's let's try this one this is a pretty big school and it doesn't look too bad and there's another one that's also pretty big that's big too let's get that one in there was there another one this is a 80 school that's a little smaller oh actually that's that's pretty big too actually so let's see which one of these actually fills the part quite nicely i don't mind that one this is a big school i don't think that will fit if we have a look at this that actually will work quite nicely if it could squeeze in. If we flip it around, right? And we m make it a turn this way. Not actually gonna work. That's not actually gonna work. So in terms of walking distances and the likes, it'll go up in here, I think. You know what I'm gonna do? And I know we've just built this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this guy because I think we can re we can put something in here again after the fact, after we've placed our school. And to be honest, I could have checked one of the other schools as well. So let's just go in here, have a quick look. Now we can squeeze in the school. Pretty sure we can, and we may even be able to squeeze in the path. But before we build that, what is our other options in terms of these are actually quite quite a bit smaller though. That's a big one. This one's not gonna that's not gonna fit. Um is there an there was an 80 school. This was the uh, I thought there was a other 80 school, but anyway, this is the one. Um I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna kind of do a little something like this. As close as possible to the road there. Okay, so if we do that, that should work. And now I want to squeeze in that little path again. Now this will be, in my mind, if we can squeeze it. We can, in fact, squeeze it. We won't necessarily be able to tie in over here. But I don't think that's necessarily a requirement. Let's um, put that up over here. Run that through there. And we'll tie that in over there. Now I'm going to... Right, this guy, we'll see, we can. 
that one on the other hand doesn't want to tie in, but that's okay. And we'll tie in over there and we'll also tie in over here. Pay for all of that. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and pay for this little path here. The stuff is being dropped off all over the show. Construction is in fact underway. We could probably do things a little quicker by assigning more. Um, oh, what the other thing that we can do now is we can say it should get citizens or not get citizens, right? So if I hover this, allow citizens to move into this building. Oh, this is by this is this is this is by, procure citizens. So we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to switch this off. So we can see what kind of citizens comes in here. What what is our timing like? Oh my goodness, we've run out of time. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, we will. Um, we will leave that. Uh, actually, let's switch it off for one of them, so we can see how that works. And what we'll do is we'll assign another. Uh, we'll assign some helicopter construction officers over here. Get IC six construction to come and make uh, to come and help out over here. That should uh, should get us get us built up a little quicker. This is another big chunk. Now, before I close it out, we are actually seeing our our harvest underway. We are. Let's have a quick look. Uh, we we spent it paused, but uh, but those numbers are coming back up again. And I don't think we finished off this build though. How far is it going? Uh, it's very slow because I we obviously paused the game as we were going through. Uh, did we? We did end up assigning another train, right? Let's just quickly see if it is in fact running. All the related vehicles should be three on the line now. Number of moving on the line. So that's good. That should be going. Did we, uh, we shouldn't, we wouldn't have finished off. Oh, we did in fact finish off a building. Oh no, no, it's not finished. Oh, it is, it is. I thought it would add some scaffolding on there. Okay, so now we've got a ton of workers over here. We can see that this is under 10% unemployment in this general area. Um, our average productivity here is super high. Um, so that's good. And there's obviously a lot of workers that's able to come and work at this facility itself. Have we dropped if off at all? No, we've not. But we have upped our population by yet another 3,000 people. Uh, we're obviously not building um, residential um, facilities quick enough for these guys to actually get it done. Did we, did we finish off the facility on this side? Uh, we have not. We can certainly assign some helicopter construction over here. Does not seem to want to assign it. So what we'll do is we'll assign it through this one. Or ah, oh, there it is. That's the that's the one that I'm after. So I would like to assign construction for these guys. So up in over there. So we'll just assign that one. So it gets a little bit built a little quicker. My goodness. We'll quickly pop down to the border town that I built, uh, which people are saying, wow, I'm getting pretty good at uh, just popping out of town in 10 minutes. Uh, let's quickly see that. That's all the way over here. So at the moment, this power is um, only solely for this area. So it's probably underproducing substantially and we can connect it to um, to the grid at some at some point to allow um, to allow better use of this area. This facility has everything it needs. So the citizens here should be pretty happy and pretty productive if we click it over there. Quality of the flats is 80%, but we're not seeing productivity here. What is our loyalty? Oh, it's unknown because we don't have secret police in this area. That's another interesting one that we can have a look at. So um, tell me in the comments down below, uh, we'll still move some more stuff over here. What is this Frida doing? It's coming to load at the central hub. Let's quickly have a look at that. I haven't seen a loading take place um, in a long time. And let's just see how that looks when it does in fact load it. It is coming to central hub, right? Yeah, it is. It's just uh, not too sure how that... It's an interesting maneuver. But that's okay. That's fine. I don't mind it. Um, it should be loading a fair bit of stuff. I don't think it'll be full based on those uh, containers that you can see all the way over there. 
Let's have a quick look and then I'm going to end the episode. Oh, up to 100, almost 195,000. We're so close to the 200,000 mark. I'm kind of thinking we should go for a quarter of a million, 250,000. Much more than that might be problematic. So this isn't loading. Yeah, yeah, this is a tiny little loading. So our surplus isn't that significant, but it's still like 40, bil uh, 40 million rubles worth of stuff. And to be honest, this could be better sent to the to the to the to the um, Western countries. But it's sending clothing, al alcohol, and electronic components um, for the most part. There's some stuff over here that's not been loaded into containers because we don't have a full container value of it yet, but I like the big containers for the time being. That's awesome. Um, that was it. That, that, that really was it. All of these things should be full and ready to go. And we've got trains running and we've got trains building and we've got ships building and we've probably not building helicopters or anything like that anymore because uh, we've run out of space. But um, absolutely loving how efficient we are starting to become over here. This is not building anything because it's probably finished off its um it's building queue it's got some extra stuff available ready to go um, but that's good guys thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this episode please hit that like button if you want us to do another interchange um somewhere over here and then run a highway connection up here across the river across the rail across the river um to another town around this lake with a uh, well it's probably going to be to the back of this lake on this side um with a bit of a mining um big mining facilities in this area i think this was a, a pretty decent hill to be mining so uh, if we wanted to do another big kind of city over here with a big focus on mining um let me know in the comments down below if that's something you would like us to do continue this and move up our population to a quarter of a million. Because I think that'll give us at least an extra 50,000 if we do another big city over there. And that puts us at a quarter of a million. But we do need some proper... Oh, there is, there is already an interchange of some sort available here. But it's not going to work for us. So we might drop that out and build something else. We'll have to see how we do that though. Um, and that will have to remove this guy as well. I think. I think that will... This is a, a facility. We could potentially run something like this through here, but it'll be a small little road. I'd rather we do a highway style road so it's so it's easier to get through with less less connectivity and we just run that um, straight through the hills. Then that'll also give us access to do some stuff on these sides if we wanted to build more um, more uh, industrial facilities, which, uh, which this will allow us to do. Um, I've also learned that we can just delete this if there's no buildings. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. So we don't have that um, siege of bridge is what will we'll, we'll stay. Okay, there we go. Thanks, guys. Uh, as always, yeah, just uh, please hit that like button. Tell me about the next town or not, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.